What up, YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, another ending here for you today. Uh, we're going to be doing this Gregory, VIP emergency exit. So what's really interesting is that Freddy talks there, even though you can't get Freddy in this area, first of all. <laughs> I don't think Steel will realize what they were doing there. So, as opposed to the last ending we did, Freddy's still got his yellow eyes here, which is interesting. Also, I don't specifically know where he's setting these bears on fire. Or Roxy's? I thought those were just Freddy plushes. Oh, there's Freddy plushes. Okay. I wonder if that's supposed to be in, like, a VIP room that we were going to have. Like, with this staircase and everything. Um, and then they just... You know, something that was cut or something they didn't want to do at the end. Something that's really interesting here to me, right, is the fact that... Freddy says that he can see Vanny, right? And we all assume that's because of the eyes he has, but how do we know that that's the same Vanny, right? It could just be... Vanessa wearing that outfit, right? Or it could be somebody... It could be a fake animatronic now wearing that outfit. Because people are kind of having the issue with Vanessa being on the roof here at the end, right? And the fact that this ends up being a Vanessa lookalike in here. Right? Now, there's no, there's no proof to show that this was an animatronic or a fake Vanessa or... Uh, but at the same time, you know, do we have any proof for her maybe being a twin, right? I have nothing, I have no issue with the twin, uh, theory. Uh, I also have no issue with the fact that that could just straight up be v Vanessa, right? And maybe that's the soul that we see on the roof, as you're gonna see here at the end credits. So if you guys wanna see the little bit of end, stick with me through this. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kinda interesting that, uh, you know, a couple of people have brought up that maybe Gregory's an animatronic, and I know people don't like that idea. Um, regardless if that could or could not be true, how come nobody thought of this maybe being a, a fake Vanessa, or an animatronic Vanessa, or a, a Fazgu clone Vanessa? I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know a whole lot about Fazgu. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think I've actually gotten to that point in the books myself. Um, or if I do, I don't, I don't really remember it. But it, it, it could be any of those three things in my opinion and like I mentioned in the last video I, I think Steel Wool left it open on purpose for us to really not understand anything because I mean in most mystery and horror aspect things you're supposed to leave a lot of unanswered questions because it keeps the the viewer or the reader uh not sure what's going on, wanting to know what happened, wanting to know more, keep questioning it, keep thinking about the story, keep thinking about the the meaning of what they don't know, right? And so they keep looking for more, they keep wanting more, and it keeps the viewer and readers interested. And I like that. I'm fine with that. I don't. I don't. I don't have to know that Vanessa is dead or not uh, by the by that ending. Um, also, who knows if this was the intended ending uh, there's plenty of endings here which one was the intended one presumably it's going to be the last ending we do um, but there's another ending that it could be and it might be that one right it's uh, really up to debate and uh, I don't think it really matters because at the end of the day Scott or Steel Wool whoever does the next series of the game they're going to decide what ending they wanted to be true, and then we're just going to have to go with it from there, right? It's just kind of like when they retcon things in a story, you kind of just have to go, okay, uh, that thing that was true is no longer true. Um, and, and as the series goes on, the longer the series exists, it's going that's going to happen probably more and more, unfortunately. Or maybe not, unfortunately. It's going to keep the story going, and that's what I love. As long as I can keep playing the FNAF games and keep having fun with the stories, that's all I really care about. Uh, so hopefully you guys just enjoy the story and, and just have fun with it, right? Just have fun with the theories. Don't get mad at each other. It's just for fun. Uh, but here we go. We now see a Vanessa in her security outfit on the roof who looks 
to me, very scared or frightened. Um, Pizza Plex has burned to the ground, blah, 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 on the side panel over there. Recall of flammable Fazbear toys. Uh, thanks, Freddy, for that. Uh, I will no longer be getting my Roxanne plush like I really wanted. Uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. What do you guys think happened? You can talk about it in the, in the comments if you want. Uh, but try to just uh, enjoy the theories. Just have fun with it. Till next time.